joy for the world and the system meaning the record companies totally took advantage of them and it's not like they always say you know they built a big house they spent a lot of money they bought a lot of cars that's stupid that's an excuse that's nothing compared to what artists make you know? and um, I just need you to know that this is very important what we're fighting for because Tired. I'm really, really tired of the manipulation. I'm tired of how the press is manipulating everything that's been happening in this situation. They do not tell the truth. They're liars. And they manipulate they manipulate, our, they manipulate our history books. The history books are not true. It's a lie. The history books are lying. You need to know that. You must know that. All the forms of popular music, from jazz to hip hop to bebop to, uh, to, to soul, you know, to, um, uh, you talk about the different dances from the cakewalk to the jitterbug to the Charleston to, uh, Break dancing. All these are forms of black dancing. What, what's more, what's more important than giving people a sense of escapism? And escapism meaning entertainment. What would we be like without a song? Okay. What would we be like without a dance? Joy and laughter and music. These things are very important, but if you go to the bookstore down the corner, you won't see one black person on the cover. You'll see Elvis Presley. You'll see the Rolling Stones. But where are the real pioneers who started? <laughs> Otis Blackwell was a prolific, phenomenal writer. He wrote some of the greatest Elvis Presley songs ever. And this was a black man.
The minute I started breaking the all-time record in record sales, I broke Elvis's records. I broke Beatles' records. The minute it became the all-time best-selling albums in history in the Guinness Book of World Records, overnight, they called me a freak. They called me a homosexual. They called me a child molester. They said I tried to bleach my skin. They made everything to turn the public against me. This was all complete, complete conspiracy. You have to know that. I know my race. I just look in the mirror. I know I'm black. You know, it's, it's, it's time, I love it more. It's time for a change. And, and let's not leave this building and forget what has been said. Put it into your heart. Put it into your subconscious mind. And let's do something about it. We have to. We have to. Because it's been a long, long time coming. And a change has got to come. So let's let's hold our torches high and get the respect that we deserve. I love you. your heart today and forget it tomorrow. If we would have not accomplished our purpose, we will have not accomplished our purpose if that happens. This has got to stop. It's got to stop. That's why I'm here with the best to make sure it stops. I love you folks. and sisters no matter what color we are.